Hi, my name is Zubin Balapuria and I'm a pianist, keyboard player. I've been playing with the cult Indian rock band Indascreed, formerly known as Rock Machine, for the last 35 years. And I'm also now happy to be a faculty at the True School of Music, where I teach three music courses. Well, for me, a masterclass is a two-way process. It's basically, for me, a little bit of a give back for whatever uh, experience I have had as a working professional in the music industry for the last uh, 35, 40 years. And I'd like to uh, give back to the students some of the experiences, some of the lessons I've learned along the way. And it's not all about just talking. I also play some music during the masterclass because at the end of the day, I feel any masterclass that involves uh, music should have obviously some performance as well. See, for me, as I said, the masterclass is always an interactive process. So I was very happy to see a large number of students turning out for the event. And they asked a couple of interesting questions. I think the examples and the sort of real world life lessons that I spoke about uh, hit home and students were kind of nodding or shaking their heads when they were supposed to. And I think by and large, uh, I hope I got the message across to them. Yeah, they were, of course, obviously interested in the backstory. I mean, I started my career way back in the 80s and 90s, and it was a very different scene in those days. So they're always fascinated to uh, hear about all the experiences I had as, you know, in a rock band traveling by third class trains, no mobile phones, no money, no internet, and it makes for some fabulous stories. They were not that great experiences when they happened, but when you look back in time, yeah, sure, there's a lot to learn from that. Well, as far as advice goes, you know, it's this one thing really, really just simple. I just uh, love to say this to younger kids playing music or anyone who's involved in music. Just play as much as you can. Even if you have 15 minutes, this is something my piano teacher told me many, many years ago. He said, Zubin, if you have 15 minutes, just go and doodle on the piano, learn a new song, learn a new scale, something or the other. So uh, while I'm so happy to see so many kids taking up music as a passion and as a profession, we have to keep in mind that it is a competitive field and those who are really good at what they do and a little bit of luck are the guys who are going to you know, really take it forward. So don't waste any time. Spend every minute of your time learning something, whether it's to do with music or art or photography or film. It's all connected. But most importantly, just practice, practice, practice whenever you have any free time on hand. Well, you know, it's uh, the, the thing is, you get a lot of free lessons on YouTube, but that's all very well. It's great to have, it's a great asset. I'm not putting it down. But somehow a one-on-one -on -one with a teacher in a school is something uh, that you will never forget. I mean, let's take back just the fact that we all went to school as kids. And we always remember that one or one or two teachers that kind of uh, struck a chord. So when you meet a fellow ex-student, you say, remember Mrs. So-and-so or Mr. So-and-so. That's the teacher that made an impact. That's the teacher that motivated you to just put in that little extra. And that's something I don't you, you think you can get from YouTube classes. So I would really uh, advise uh, music students to join up. True School of Music is a great place. The faculty is ex excellent. The uh, facilities are superb. And you just cannot beat that personal one-on-one -on -one attention you get from someone who's a professional in the industry and now a teacher at the institute.